Hello friends, in this video I will talk about first order Butterworth low pass filter. So first order Butterworth low pass filter is also called as one pore low pass Butterworth filter. As for a simple filter, order and pole are the same concept. That's why first order is also called as one pole. Now this order and pole are related with the RC network or we can simply say that it is related with the reactive component so only it is uh, it will have one rc network or one reactive component here so low pass filter passive low pass filter looks like this here the input is applied to this terminal and the output is taken across the capacitor now we know that for a low pass filter We are using op amp here and that's why the op amp circuit will look like this. This is a non-inverting amplifier and this is the feedback resistance of a non-inverting amplifier and this one is the input resistance. The value of cutoff frequency will be decided by R and C network whereas the passband gain will be decided by this feedback resistance RF and input resistance R1. This circuit can also be drawn like this. Now this circuit and this circuit is same. Here this input is shown and the ground of this input is also indicated here whereas capacitor is indicated by a separate ground network. Now let us calculate the expression for the low pass filter. Now we know that the output voltage for a non-inverting amplifier is given by 1 plus RF upon R1. This is input resistance here. So 1 plus RF upon R1 multiplied by the input voltage. Now input voltage is V. Let us consider it as V1. So for both cases let it be v1 so it is 1 plus rf of on r1 multiplied by v1 now we have to calculate v1 here and v1 is the voltage measured across this capacitor and it is given by minus jxc upon r minus jxc so it is the resistance of capacitor which is also called as capacitive reactance that is xc and it is the total resistance R minus JXC multiplied by the voltage which is producing it. So V in. Now we know that XC is equal to 1 upon 2 pi FC. And therefore if we put this let this one be the equation number 1. And if we put XC is equal to 1 upon 2 pi FC in this equation we will get equation like this. Now cross multiplying this R and 2 pi fc we will get equation like this and for common 2 pi fc it will get cancelled and therefore our equation for v1 will be minus j upon minus j plus 2 pi f rc into v in now dividing numerator and denominator by minus j we will get v1 equals to 1 upon 1 plus 2 pi f rc upon minus j into v in let this be the equation number two now we know that one upon j is equals to minus j therefore one upon minus j equals to j so putting this value in equation number two we will get v1 is equals to one upon two pi j two V1 equals to 1 upon 1 plus J 2 pi F RC into V in. Now, the output voltage for a non-inverting amplifier, we have already calculated it. It is given by V1, uh, VO is equals to 1 plus RF upon R1 into V1. So, putting the value of V1 in this equation, we will get output voltage equals to this one. Now, 1 plus RF upon R1, let it be equals to 
AVF that is a passband gain. So our output voltage and sending this V in to the left hand side we will get V of 1 V in is equals to AVF divided by 1 plus J 2 pi F RC. Now to solve it further let's continue with this equation. We'll, we are having this equation. Now put 1 upon FC is equals to 2 pi RC. So this FC is cutoff frequency here and if we put this value so 2 pi RC. So 2 pi RC is equals to FC. So VO upon V in is equals to AVF divided by 1 plus J times F upon FC where F is the input frequency and FC is the cutoff frequency. So this is the equation for the gain of a filter. Now to solve it further. So this is this equation is in the form of complex notation. Now to solve it into polar notation, we will have we will indicate it by V O of 1 V in mod of V O of 1 V in angle tan inverse theta form. So mod of V O of 1 V in is actually equals to this one is only single number here so it is under root AVF square divided by if this is x term and plus j y if this is y so it is under root x square plus y square so it is 1 plus 1 square plus f of 1 fc whole square so solving it we will get v o of 1 v in mod of u upon v in equals to avf upon under root 1 plus f of 1 fc whole square. This is our expression for the gain and theta tan inverse theta is given by sorry it is minus tan inverse theta so it is minus tan inverse f upon fc this is the angle for the complex notation notation so theta is equals to this one now we have already calculated this formula that is mod of u upon v in is equals to avf divided by under root 1 plus f upon fc square so if this frequency that is input frequency is small F is very less than FC then we know that this uh, this term will be very very less because it will be in fraction and fraction square will be further reduced so mod of VO upon V in that is gain will be equals this term will be very very small so it will be nearly equals to AVF and we know that this is a constant so constant because its formula is 1 plus RF upon R1 so it is a constant that's why we'll get frequency response like this frequency response is the graph which is plotted between frequency and gain here AVF is our fixed gain and it is a constant so we will get output like this now this one is the first condition now as the frequency is increasing and we will reach a point when this F and FC will be equal so second condition is at F is equals to X FC that is input frequency is equals to cutoff frequency at that time it will be equals to AVF divided by 1 plus 1 under root 1 plus 1 so AVF divided by under root 2 will be equals to 0 0.707 AVF means it is 0 0.707 times AVF so our gain will be at F is equals to FC at F is equals to FC that is input frequency is equals to our 
cutoff frequency we will get gain equals to 0 0.707 AVF. So this is the value when our gain falls to 0 0.707 and this frequency is called as cutoff frequency. Now this one was the second condition. Now moving toward the third condition as we are increasing frequency and definitely a condition when input frequency is greater than the cutoff frequency at that time definitely this term will be greater and further the gain will start decreasing so here that is a view of on v in will be less than a v f and it will as we will increase frequency this gain will definitely decrease and it will get reduced like this and this gain has the value of minus 20 db per decade so it will decrease with this rate that is 20 db per decade now this minus sign is here because the gain is decreasing and definitely negative sign indicates the gain is decreasing here so this is the frequency response of a low pass butterworth filter Thank you.